Hello, grade 5 learners. I am teacher Harold, your companion in today's discovery of learning. Welcome to our first episode of solving word problems involving addition of fractions. Before we start with our lesson, let's have a drill. Are you ready? Okay. Say hi if the fraction is in higher term and say low if the fraction is in a lowest term. Did you get it? Let's begin. Two fourths. Two fourths. Very good. Hi. Next, one fifth. Very good. Low. Next, five sevenths. Five sevenths. Excellent. Low. Next, five fifteenths. Five fifteenths. Very good. High. Three fifths. Three fifths. Very good. Low. Let's try another drill. Change the following dissimilar fractions to similar fractions. How to change the following dissimilar fractions to similar fractions? First, we need to get the multiples of 5. 5, the denominator of 2 fifths. So, what are the multiples of 5? Yes, 5. Else, 10. What's next? 15. What's next to 15? 20. The next to 20 is 25. And next to 25 is 30. How about the multiples of 4? The denominator of 2 fourths. Okay. So the denominator are multiples. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. So as you can see, from the multiples of 5 and 4, the least common multiple is 20. So this is now the LCD of 2 fifths and 2 fourths. So let's, let's put here 20 as the denominator of the first fraction and another 20 as the denominator of the second fraction. So how to get the numerator of these two fractions? First, we need to divide 20 and 5. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 and multiply it by 2. So 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, yan na. So, nakuha na natin yung first fraction. How about the second fraction? 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5 and multiply it by 2. The answer is 10. So, they are now similar fractions. Why? Because they have common denominators. They have common denominators. So, 8, 28, and 10, 28. Okay. Hope you get it. Let's proceed. Who among you is a scout member? Your scout or boy scout? Wow, so all of you are scout members. What activities have you participated? Yes, tree planting. What else? Hiking. Very good. What else? Cooking. What else? Camping. Wow, very good. So those are the activities of uh, scout members. Have you joined camping? Wow, so all of you joined camping. How did you feel? Yes, it was so exciting. 
having the ability to solve problems that are experienced in your daily living without following readily identifiable models and process is a plus knowledge in this lesson. In answering word problem, take note of word clues to help you figure out which operation will be used. Let us study the steps and analyze the given word problem. The girl and boy scouts went camping. They hiked one one four kilometers on the first day and two one half kilometers on the second day. What was the total distance hiked by the scouts? What is us in the problem? Excellent. The total kilometers did the girl and boy scouts hike? What are given in the problem? Very good. One one four kilometers on the first day and two one half kilometers on the second day. What do you think is the operation to be used to solve the problem? Very good. Addition. What is the number sentence then? Excellent. One one fourth plus two one half equals N. What are the steps to answer this? One one fourth plus two one half equals N. First, rename the fractions to include a common denominator. So what are the multiples of four? Yes, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. How about the multiples of 2? What are the multiples of 2? Okay, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. By looking at the multiples of 4 and 2, what is their least common multiple? Yung pinakamaliit na common multiple nila. So, the... This common multiple is 4. Yan. The least common multiple is 4. So let's put 4 as the denominator of the two fractions. Okay. Yan, ganyan. Then, let's copy the whole number 1 and the whole number Two plus and add. Okay, how about the numerator? To get the numerator is we divide 4 by 4. 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1. Then 1 times 1, the answer is 1. How about this? 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Okay. Next. Next is add the fractions. Next step, add the fractions. So what are the fractions? The fractions are 1 fourth and 2 fourths. The fractions are 1 fourth and Reports. So, these are the fractions. I-add na natin ito. So, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Right? 1 plus 2 equals 3. And then, copy the denominator 4. And what's next? After adding the fractions. 
after adding the fractions add the whole numbers what are the whole numbers the whole numbers are 1 and 2 so these are the whole numbers 1 and 2 so 1 plus 2 the answer is 3 okay so 3 and 3 fourths and what's next and the last step is simplify the fraction if necessary so no need to simplify this 3 3 fourths and don't forget to put the unit okay the unit is kilometer the unit is kilometer don't forget to put the unit the unit is kilometer and so the answer is three three fourths kilometer so the girl and boy scouts hike three and three fourths kilometers they hike three and three fourths kilometers take note in answering word problem you need to follow the steps understand plan and solve understand plan and solve so first we need to read the problem basahin maigi ang word problem next determine what is us in the problem Ano ba ang tinatanong o hinahanap sa word problem? Determine the important data in the problem or what are given or what are the given facts. So, most especially ito ay naglalaman ng numbers. Next is choose a strategy or the operation to be used. Anong gagamitin mo? Addition. Subtraction, multiplication, or division. And another strategy is draw a picture or make a table. Kailangan ninyong gumuhit ng table in order to solve the problem. Another, show all your work or the number sentence. What is a number sentence? An equation. Example, 1 plus 2. Okay? So, operation is involved in the equation or number sentence. Then, label your answer. So, the labels like roses, houses, pieces, kilometer, or the units of measurement. Okay? Try to do this. Justin bake an apple cake for her mother's birthday. Her brother ate three-fifths, while her sister ate two-fourths. How many did they eat all together? So I'll give you five minutes to answer this problem. Time's up. Let's check your answer.
Justin baked an apple cake for her mother's birthday. Her brother ate three-fifths while her sister ate two-fourths. How many did they eat all together? What is us in the problem? Very good. The total portion of cake they eat. What are the given facts? Very good. Three-fifths of the cake was eaten by her brother and two-fourths of the cake was eaten by her sister. What operation should be used? Excellent. Addition. What is the number sentence? Yes. Two-fourths plus three-fifths equals N. Two-fourths plus three-fifths equals N. What are the steps to answer this? Two-fourths plus three-fifths equals N. First, rename the fractions to include a common denominator. To get the LCD of 2 fourths and 3 fifths, we need to get the multiples of 4 and 5, the denominators of the two fractions. So what are the multiples of 4? Yes, 4, 8, Twelve, sixteen, twelve, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. Very good, and so on. How about the least common multiples of five? Yes, five, twelve, ten, twelve. 15, 20, what else? 25, yes, 30, and so on. Okay, so by looking at the multiples of 4 and 5, what is their least common multiple? Very good. Their least common multiple is 20. So let's use 20 as their denominator. So 20 is the denominator of the first fraction. And 20 is the denominator of the other fraction. How about the numerators? How about the numerators? Okay, divide 20 and 4. 20 divided by 4, the answer is 5. And multiply it by 2. So 2 times 5, the answer is 10. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. Multiply it by 3 is equal to... So 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And then add. Okay. Next step is add the fractions. Add the fractions. 10 plus 12. What's the answer? 10 plus 12. Very good. The answer is 22. 22. And copy the dena denominator. 22 and copy the denominator, which is 20. So 22, 20 or 22 over 20 is improper fraction. Let's change that into proper fraction. Let's change that into proper fraction. How? 22 divided by 20 is equal to 
how many twenties can we get from twenty two? Yes, one only. And what's the remainder? Yes, we're gonna multiply two only, and that's the numerator. And the denominator is twenty. Okay. So one, two, twentieth. One and two, twentieth. And the last step is simplify the fraction if necessary. Yes, we need to simplify one and two, twentieth. Okay, how? So both the numerator and denominator are divisible by two. Huh? Divisible by two. So two divided by two and twenty divided by two. Let's copy the whole number. Two divided by two is equal to one. And 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So, that's the final answer. So, 1 and 1 over 10 or 1 and 1 tenth. And the label is, what? The label is 1 and 1 tenth of the apple cake. 1 and 1 tenth of the apple cake okay you got the correct answer oh, very good remember to solve word problems follow the steps and most of all analyze the given real life problem state what is us indicate the given data Analyze what operation to use, write the number sentence, and perform the solution. Our dear future mathematicians, we are done discussing the lessons for today. It is now time to assess whether you have listened well. Please get your quiz notebook and pen and get ready for the assessment. Read and solve the problem. Choose and write the letter of the correct answer on your quiz notebook. Number one. Samantha prepared juice. She mixed one one half liters of orange juice and three liters of mango juice. What was the total number of liters? Four one half. B. Two three fourths. C. 3 1 half D 1 3 fourths Please follow the steps to solve a word problem So I'll give you 3 minutes to solve its problem Number two, Kathy's kitten weighs one half kilogram. Sam's puppy is three fourths kilogram. What is the total weight of the two animals? A, one one fourth. B, one one half. C, one three fourths. D, two one fourth.
Next, and the last one. Latest picture of water is one half liter full. If she adds one fourth liter, how many liters of water does she have now? A two fourths. B three fourths. C two six. D four fourths. Have you finalized your answer? I'll give you one minute more to finalize your answer. I'll give you one minute more to finalize your answer. Time is up. Let us check your answers. Samantha prepared juice. She mixed one one half liters of orange juice and three liters of mango juice. What was the total number of liters that she mixed? A four one half, B two three fourths, C three one half, and D one three fourths. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is. letter a correct answer is letter a four one half four one half number two cut is kitten weighs one half kilogram sam's puppy is three fourths kilogram what is the total weight of the two animals a one one fourth b one one half c one three fourths and D two one fourth is the correct answer. Yes, the correct answer is letter A one one fourth. One one fourth. Next, Lita's pitcher of water is one half liter full. If she adds one fourth liter, how many liters of water does she have now? A two fourths, B three fourths, C two six, D four fourths. What's the correct answer? The answer is letter B, three fourths. Answer is letter B. How's your score? So please keep your quiz notebook for a while and later I will come to your house to collect it. Whatever your score is, keep learning. This is your teacher Harold saying, be positive always and focus in what you do. Goodbye everyone and see you soon in our next episode. Paalam!